Hello everyone and best wishes to all of us. The honor of is on this occasion, we fully present our project in Indonesian Science Project Olympiad 2023. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Most of the body odor in humans come from the armpits. Therefore, many people use deodorant to get rid of the odor. Deodorant spray has a major advantage compared to other types. It doesn't involve contact with the user's skin so that hygiene is maintained. Alum has been proven to be effective against Staphylococcus aureus, which are the bacteria that cause body odor. Reporting to Compass, according to Dr. Ismiralda, antiperspirants are more at risk of cancer. Alum is not an antiperspirant, so it is safer to use as an ingredient in deodorant. However, most deodorant products made from alum don't have a scent or such a fragrance in the composition. Indonesia is the world's main supplier of patchouli oil with a contribution of around 90% and Aceh is the largest patchouli producing area. Aceh patchouli plant has a distinctive scent, higher oil content, and quality. Patchouli oil is usually used as a fixative in the perfume industry and is one of the measures for making deodorant products. So, to make an alum deodorant that does have a scent from patchouli oil, we from Fatih Senior High School proudly present our innovation entitled The Patch, deodorant spray from Aceh patchouli extract, Pogestemon Kamblin Band, and alum. I'm Muhammad Rifriskan and my partner Zuri Afarizi. We are mentored by Ms. Zarina Salhan. Honorable Juris, in this project, we formulate research of the objectives such as First, uh, to produce a new deodorant made from alum that smells good Second, knowing the right deodorant formulation made from alum and patchouli extract And the last one, find out how effective the formulation of alum and patchouli extract is as a main ingredient in a deodorant spray The first thing that we need to do in this project is washing the patchouli plant, cut the leaves and stem into smaller pieces this is aims to maximize the evaporating and macerating process so it would be more efficient. The small pieces of patchouli plant will be dried out for 5 days with a room temperature in a closed room that does, doesn't directly get into sunlight. After it dries, we measure the dried patchouli to make the ratio 2 to 1 between leaves and stem. We got 500 grams of leaves and 280 grams of stems that are ready for the extraction process. The extraction process that we use is maceration. This process doesn't use a heating process, so it won't damage the active substance in the simplicia. Now let's get into the maceration process. Insert the leaves and stem that has been measured into the maceration bottle. In this maceration process, we use 4 maceration bottles and each bottle fills up with 70 grams of leaf, 35 grams of stems, and 2 liters of ethanol 96%. Then close the bottle tightly and store the, the bottle away from direct sunlight for around 4 days. The solvent needs to be stirred each day so that the solvent circulation occurs and the maceration process will become optimal. After 4 days, we obtain 7.6 liters of diluted patchouli extract that is ready for distillation. Patchouli extract is then concentrated by means of vacuum distillation. This process is done in the USK MIPA laboratory by the relevant laborant. After the distillation process, we obtain 326 milliliters of patchouli extract. Get on to the next process which is making 5% of alum solutions. 10 grams alum in 200 milliliters aqua desk were heated until it dissolved perfectly. Next, we mix the patchouli extract with alum solution and pour it into a 50 milliliter spray bottle. As a comparison, we make three variants of patchouli extract concentration which is 10%, 15% and 20%. Furthermore, an evaluation was carried out to determine the physical properties of the deodorant in the form of antibacterial test. An organolactic test which included color, scent, and drying speed test on third respondent, pH test, scent staying power test, and stability test. This following are the result of antibacterial tests. The presence of inhibition zone in the three samples indicate that the deodorant spray succeed in inhibiting the growth of Staphylococcus aureus bacteria with the largest zone being found at a concentration of 10% which was uh, 8.21 mm. Here is the test result of organolytic test for color. The more patchouli extra concentration, the darker is color. Next, the results of organolytic test for scent are present in the table shown. 
The result of the organolithic test on the dry speed of the deodorant can be seen in the table shown. Based on the result of organolithic test with three parameters on three samples, as can be seen in the table shown, the respondent's highest urinal preference was at a concentration of 15%. Go on to the next test. Based on the result of the stage 4 test, the sand doesn't last long due to the fixative nature of patchouli oil, so the additional sand is needed to make it last a long time. On the pH test, we can see the result. A pH value of 3 was obtained for the three variations of deodorant formulations, which indicate that the preparation was safe to use according to SNI, which was around 3 to 7.5. The last test, which is stability test, as a result, the organolytic test didn't change, both in terms of color, sand, and dry speed. The pH also doesn't change, which is still 3 according to SNI, meanwhile the staying power of the sand didn't change significantly. Based on the research that has been done, it can be concluded that, first, a deodorant made from alum with a pleasant sand can be produced by mixing alum, water, and patchouli extract. Second, the optimal deodorant spray from a mixture of alum and patchouli extract is obtained through a 15% patchouli extract formula. And finally, the formulation of alum and patchouli extract as the main ingredients in the other spray can be said to be good, according to the results of the sample tests conducted, both antibacterial, pH, organoleptic tests, and durability of the scent. For further research, we suggest using more accurate tools and methods to get better results finding a more appropriate deodorant formulation so that the scent lasts longer while having higher antibacterial activity and adding additional scent according to people's taste because of the properties of patchouli which is fixative. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.